Alright, welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We have our match today against Muscat. And we're gonna go with the uh, Fallen Byleth team. Um, I uh, put her back on summoner support, so uh, we should be able to avoid the mishap that we had yesterday. Um, and to be fair, that was a plus 10 Valentine's Crom, so uh, the defenses are to be expected. I mean, he is a pretty bulky unit. Just didn't expect him to hit that hard. <laughs> but um, in any case, we have the extra, what, 5 HP and uh, extra stats all around uh, just to make sure that we get that kill. And um, yeah, this is the team that we're facing here today. Um, mm, I've been having some mixed reviews against this uh, Brave Edelgard with my hit and run team, so I decided not to do that. Uh, it's been kind of inconsistent as to whether or not Shez can break through. So, Summer Shez, by the way. So I've decided For just to um, tap this from range instead. Uh, the other option was to use the um, Summer Edelgard team, but that's not a good matchup. I don't know. I don't... It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use that team this week, so I might just scrap it altogether. Um, and just go with something else. I don't know what would be a good alternative, but I'm probably going to scrap that team because it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to be seen any, any play at all this week. So it doesn't look like we can uh, go on turn one here. So we're probably going to go ahead and wait for turn two because the setup needs to be correct. Um, well, I probably could have went on turn one, but um, let's let's go on turn two. Uh, yeah, it'll be better. <laughs> it'll be better if we go on turn two. Everything will be um, all set up properly. And plus, the pots are right here in the front. I, I really love when they do that. It's so kind. Um, and uh, we don't have to go fishing for the pots. So uh, let's end turn here. This should be fine. We're still going to be getting all the buffs. And uh, we'll go on the next turn. Oh no, it's really supposed to be like a... It's, it's basically a hit and run team, so maybe I could Excuse swap me. out for like a... Uh, Celeph, Brave Celeph instead. Because he does get that flat um, Kanto too. So maybe that will be a good option, I don't know. I I'll think about it, but yeah, I don't I don't think I'll be able to use that team this week. For some reason, I'm, I'm just not coming up against any maps that... It would be good Very against. Well. You know, the defenses are evolving, I guess would be the best way to say it. And um, harder to break through. And most of the teams that I'm coming across have at least a, a near save and a far save. So, unless I want her to run into a wall <laughs> and like lose a bunch of her HP, um, I, I don't foresee myself using that team this week. But uh, here we go. Here comes Krom. Yep, 45 times two. Yeah, not as not as uh, bad as the one yesterday, and almost took him out. And we are gonna take him out now. So. Yep. Veronica, completely outspeeding her. And Embla. Even on bonus season, she's still not faster than Byleth, and that's that's crazy. You well, then I, I I have bonus doubler, so probably I'm I'm being no fear here. <laughs> uh, I think we can get one more, no? No? Okay. All right. So no real reason to go any further up. Um, I think we just sit here. Uh, we're gonna put the bonus doubler back on and. Uh, chill out in this spot. Um, probably move Gato since there's no more ranged units. Uh, and uh, do this. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the strategy. That is indeed the strategy. <laughs> but Pilots kill them all. Yo, lately I've been wondering if I should be recording these in the day after I've gotten like more sleep. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. 
Oh man, I hope it doesn't come across. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm on zero sleep right now. Uh, I think he should get 60% damage reduction because there's another dragon nearby. Yeah. Yep. You're still dead. <laughs> You dare touch me? Maybe I could make a ranged hit and run team, but then I would need Kanto. Um, Show me. I think I could. Well, I'll think about it, because that's the only team type that I don't have. have. Ready? Uh, a ranged hit and run team. Um, and it's really because range units are so powerful, um, range tanks are so strong, um, well. but I, I just don't want to commit to it, uh, because we'd be, I'd have to use specific units just to make sure that I can break through. Hmm. Something to consider. Your fate is dust. Yo, know, she is so good, like, jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> Violet put the sweet. Pay with your life. Oh my god. Alright, man, you, you saw it here. Violet sweep. Uh, fall off who? <laughs> Alright, um, GG's. See you in the next video. All right, welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We are taking on Watermelon today, and we're gonna use the Edelgard team that I didn't think I'd be able to actually use this season, but uh, here we are. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take this for a swing. Um, hopefully I still got the groove right. I don't really, um, it's been a long time since I've used this team. So uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. Um, basically what we're gonna do is uh, hop over these mountains and uh, smack some units in the face and then hop back over the mountains. <laughs> Foolproof plan, it's guaranteed to work. Um, looking at this, you probably, I probably really wanted to initiate on one of these traps, but I'm not running Disarm Trap on Yuri, I'm running, um, what am I running again? Uh, Special Spiral. So yeah, um, problem. Although I could give him Disarm Trap, I do have it um, because I have like two Renax. Uh, and Renek has the same caps. I could give it to him, but it's such a like a useless skill. Aside, aside from Aetherage, you don't really use it much. And really, all it boils down to is, can I reposition off this trap or not? <laughs> can I reposition off of this trap or not? So if I can reposition off of the trap, then I really don't need the disarm trap. So, yeah, yeah, you know, just go with the special spiral, do more damage. Um, looking at what we got Let's here. Swim. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that no, bolt no, trap no. is real, um, so I'm just going to step on it just to get it out of the way. And we want to do this pretty quickly because Thor will have her AoE ready in a couple of turns. Um, other option is I could like body block with Asker, but really don't like my choices, my chances on that. So. Uh, we're gonna smite Yuri over the, the mountains, which is great. Like, if, <laughs> if you think about that in real life, that's like totally order. dumb, but then none of these skills actually make sense in real life. Like, how are you gonna smite somebody over a mountain? <laughs> it's like some type of Trojan horse, Trojan horse shit, where you probably like get like, um, Good morning. I don't know, it has to be like a cannon. Sure. I don't know what, there's this Indian movie where they had like, uh, um, the units, um, not units, like they had uh, an army invading a nation, and what they did was they they loaded a cannon with um, uh, like I, I don't know some barrels, right. um, and it was just like uh, uh, hay on outside of the oh, barrel, like and they put the dudes from the army on the hay, oh, and they launched them basically into the into the enemy fortress and I'm like this is the dumbest shit they would all die <laughs> they would all die on impact so well not, well not even on impact the cannon would probably explode but I mean it's the same thing like how am I smiting over a mountain <laughs> it's so dumb but you know it's a game so we just accept it 
I mean, it's so weird because I can smite over the mountain, but I can't smite over this fortress. This fortress is like, what's the difference between the mountain and the fortress? <laughs> Dumb, but uh, we, we know we, we just accept it because game logic. All right, so we went through the first turn. Uh, the first turn is easy. Uh, the turn where they um, move is now going to be challenging because we got to figure out what the hell we're doing right now. Uh, let's see. We can take out... We're definitely going to need Elgard here in some capacity. Let's see. All right, so, yeah. Let's uh, try to come up with a plan. So, I don't know if that um, heavy trap is real. High chances are that it's real. Uh, we take out Bramimon with Edelgard, and we take out Summer Thor with Edelgard. But we're left with uh, one, two range units. So we really want to get all the range units off the board. But how do I get Edelgard up there? And I'm probably going to need Yuri as well to help out with uh, taking out some of these units. Um, how do we do this? Uh, right now... I'd want Edelgard to probably take out Bramamon from underneath, and then uh, because because I don't want to initiate on that trap. Pretty sure that it's it's real. And as I said, no disarm trap. So uh, that's plan number one. But in order to reposition, uh, Asker has to be closer, which would require a smite from Nerthuz, which takes out one action. Uh, reposition, have a dance from Peony, have a dance from Triandra. Yeah. I agree. There's no backing up um, in this position here because uh, what's her face that uh, Lurum, Larum, uh, is going to dance? Don't know who she's going to dance, but she's going to dance somebody. She's going to, oh, I'm going to dance. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, she's going to dance somebody. Yeah, no, um, I think. Uh, I might need a little bit of time to think about this one. Uh, it's going to look something like this. And then with guidance from Peony, probably we can get something going. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I thought of a plan and we're going to go ahead and initiate the plan now. Uh, some of it I've already mentioned, um, but we're going to probably agree. make adjustments as we go along. Uh, we're going to go like so, just to get the orders buff on Yuri, uh, in case we need it. And it gives Asker an action. So we're going to take out this uh, Bramimon here. It's definitely two hits. Because he has DR. Although I'm surprised that he has a damage reduction in enemy phase as well. So this... That's a problem. <laughs> uh, what do I do about that? Um, I was really uh, hoping that she'd be able to take... Sure. Oh, okay. We're probably going to have to do um, Thor here. I was really hoping that she'd be able to take I'll out this knot um, in one swim. combat. Um, <sighs> and at least if I initiate with Yuri, I get to uh, drop this. down Dagger 7 uh, debuffs. So that should help out with this, with the uh, damage there on uh, not to so do this. this, and we're gonna leave him there because he has the ability to then go across and take out um, right. what's your face here, Gremlin. Give me an order. Yep. Okay, so we can do that. Um, oh, okay, so we get this clean now. So we're gonna take out this knot because that's what I wanted to do. I and then I luck. wanted to go up and take out Shez. Uh, so let's see what that's like. <sighs> Ew, that's not good. That is not good at all. Um, all right, so we're going to need to improvise here. Because I really thought win. she'd be able to take out that Shez. Uh, can you redo it? Sure. Okay, so Yuri can do it. Oh man, it's a good thing I did the uh, peony dance there. Uh, let's put on some bonus doubler because Yuri's gonna have to tank a hit uh, from that learn. Still can't get it. Okay. Well, now I know. 
Uh, we don't take out the sheds with Edel Guard, so uh, now I know that. We're going to take out um, in order. Shaz here. Too little too late. It's a good thing I went with the special spiral too, because um, otherwise she would have killed me in enemy phase uh, on the counterattack because she'd hit with Brave. And uh, we're going to just put Asker somewhere up here. Um, and that's that. Yuri takes the hit. Only eight damage. Six damage. Oh my god, that's so much. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna get the pots. Um, yeah, we're Ready. basically done here. Just gotta figure out how to get that pot over on the uh, left-hand side there. It's kind of far, um, but we get this one no problem. And um, we're probably gonna take another hit from Larum. And I agree. Yeah, it's a um, successful clear here with Elgard. Looks like I still got it, uh, although kind of scruffed. Um, but yeah, it worked out in the end. I probably wanna swap. Asker's kit pop, pop. on this one since he didn't really do much sure. um, aside from like reposition and stuff. I could probably like, make him a Gale Forcer. That's something to think about and run Heavy Blade just to in case I need the extra actions. That's something to think I'll about indeed. Uh, but for now, I'll just leave it at is. And um, I mean, we got Nerthu's, um, and Nerthu's wasn't even able to Good do anything uh, aside from Sm <laughs> Smite over mountains so she's a really strong goat if she's able to do that um but yeah we're gonna figure out how to get that pot there and then wrap this up yeah, i can't believe it's already september like geez august was like such a full month it flew by so fast and it's already september um the remixes for the cyl units are on the way can't wait, and uh, ooh, it's gonna be an interesting time in Faye. Well, at least after the remixes, things should slow down quite a bit. Uh, yeah, usually it does until Halloween, and that's good because uh, I am on like zero orbs. I really need to start saving again. Uh, yeah, it's oh, been a it rough on. couple of months <laughs> with these banners, man. The banners oh, have been so goodness. good with all the new skills that have been released. And back to back at that, like it hasn't been easy at all. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take out this Tannic Manor here and uh, take another hit from the Slyrum. All right, should be able to wrap things up this turn. Uh, how do I get over there? Hmm, how do I get over there? I think I can reposition, uh, reposition. Good morning. Triangle? Yeah. yeah, this should work. I'll handle this. Right. Go. Okay. What? Give in order. I probably shouldn't have blocked um under the and I probably shouldn't have blocked right there either. Uh, because I need to create a space so that I look can attack. Uh, let's reposition Triandra out of the way. I agree. And then, ah, there we go. Warp comes in handy. All right. I wish it's you um, been a pretty good game. Yeah, that's it. GG. Edelgard sweeps. Still happening. See you in the next one.